Hello and welcome to this special series of videos for our car dealer Power Awards. I'm James Bagger, I'm the founder of Car Dealer Magazine and today I'm chatting to the winner of our dealer management system of the year, it's Pinewood. Joining me from the company, I'm absolutely delighted to have Pendragon CEO, Bill Berman. Bill, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations, how does it feel to win this very special award from our readers? Well, th thank you, James. I, I, it's, I'm, I'm elated. Um, the team is just absolutely amazing. Um, they perform at a high level um, and uh, no disrespect, but I think this is a award that's a long overdue. <laughs> well, you have to uh, thank our readers for that one. They, we've had some, <laughs> you've had some fantastic feedback this year in the survey. We've had a huge amount of respondents this year, largely due to the fact that we're massively concentrating on our website now <laughs> and lots of, lots of people on there reading stories. But you got some great, great comments this year. People really like the service that, that Pinewood gives, but also that technology and how it helps them run their dealerships. Does that kind of, do, is what I'm saying ring true with you? I mean, is that what you're hearing uh, from your customers? Uh, absolutely. And if anything, I think uh, with the lockdown and some of the challenges, the new ways to work that the, uh, the recent pandemic has brought to light, I think Pinewood has really stood head and shoulders uh, above uh, the rest of the competition with some of the systems and processes and the tools that they have to help a dealer facilitate in this new kind of uh, retail environment that we're currently experiencing. Um, I think they really stood out tall and uh, you could definitely see their product. Um, the way they had things set up was uh, industry leading cutting edge and, and I think it's really helped facilitate dealers um, in this unique time. So, Bill, it's, um, some people look, looking into the business uh, from, from outside well, might think it's a little bit strange that you run your own uh, dealer management software system and you sell it off to other dealers. But it's actually been quite core cool to Pendragon, hasn't it, over the, over the years? And uh, from your last update uh, that you gave to the stock market, it's going to be even more important. Is that right? Uh, absolutely. I, the, the way I would look at it, it, it's not we're a car retailer that owns a DMS company. It's more like we're a small conglomerate because we have a, a PVM or leasing company. We have our standalone used car business. We have what we coined uh, UK Motors, which handles our new vehicle franchises. And, and then we have our, our Pinewood system. So they're separate entities that are under a parent. Um, and, and there's a symbiotic relationship between them. Um, Pinewood is a, is a big part of, uh, of our success. It'll be a big part of our success going forward. Um, but it is, you know, there is a the proverbial Chinese wall. It's completely separate and segregated from that. With that said, though, um, we're able to work with them and give them a test bed where they can try new products, new systems, um, and they can do it, um, obviously, basically for free um, and test it with us. And we can work out any bugs and then they can present it to a larger market. So I think the relationship actually um, is unique because if you're one of the other ones, you got to kind of go build things in the blind. You might not have access to the resources um, that Pinewood has. You might not have... Uh, access to kind of the talent and the way the day-to-day -day operations and you'd have to work kind of blind. Um, this way they're able to sit here and, and benefit from all of that. Bill, um, you, you must be incredi incredibly busy at the moment. And um, by the time this, this video goes out, it's going to be towards the end of September. I mean, what are you, what are you seeing in your dealerships at the moment? I mean, the dealers that I'm talking to wrote a story about it this morning. September is crazy. I mean, is it the same, is it the same for you guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, we can't get too in detail, but we're very, very happy with the performance of our stores and how the markets performed overall um, since we came out of lockdown. Um, you know, there's a lot of pent-up demand still to kind of work through the systems, um, and, and we're pretty excited the way, um, you know, post-lockdown uh, has played out so far. And uh, for the rest of the year, I mean, how are you pretty hopeful that that's going to continue? Uh, you know, listen, I, I have concerns like anybody else does. Um, I think the, the government uh, support that's been given to, to retailers, whether it's the rate holiday um, or the furlough scheme, um, were just absolutely instrumental to uh, the success, success and viability of, of many businesses. I think it's played out well in automotive. Um, I think my only concerns would be um, come November, December, and the furlough scheme kind of unwinds. Um, you know, what, what kind of happens? There's some uncertainty there. But um, you know, our businesses are running leaner and more efficient and more effectively than they ever have. Um, the market is still strong. The OEMs are still supportive. Um, you know, we may have a little bit of a blip, but if, if anything, it's just a little bit of a blip and then we'll come back roaring. Bill, what, um, what are your thoughts on, on actual support, further support from the government? Do you think that the, 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 the hands are tied now for, for ministers? Do you think they're actually not going to put their hands in their pocket and help out this, this industry? Uh, I, I think they're going to have to. Um, I, I think they're really going to have to. Automotive is just too large of a piece um, of, of the overall puzzle. Um, it's too large of a piece of the overall economy. 
And, and I think at some point in time, they're, they're going to have to do something, whether it's a scrappage scheme um, or it's a, uh, you know, a VAT, uh, you know, or a continuation of the, of the rate holiday or a VAT holiday. Um, they, they're going to need to do something as we get later into this year and maybe the first part of next year to kind of kind of get better, people back into that market and give them an incentive to do it. Uh, a perfect example is what they did with the stamp duties on real estate. Um, you know, one little thing, uh, the amount of money that people are saving because uh, of, of that thing here, the, the increase in the price of houses is more than outstripped that, but it's turning money and it's, it's propping up the economy. And I think that same thing would happen if they did either one of those two things for automotive. If you were to pick one of those, those incentive packages, one of those stimulus, stimulus packages you mentioned, what, what one would you go for? I, I think the VAT holiday would be the, the one that would serve us best. I think it, it's a wider swath of the economy, a wider swath of buyers, and a wider swath of, of brands. Not all brands could, uh, you know, um, some of the, you know, the JLRs of the world, um, some of the German brands, they might be hard pressed to meet some of the criteria that have been talked about in the Scrabbage program. Um, but a VAT holiday would sit here and hit all um, sectors across the board. Yeah, it would certainly help out the, the Absolutely. whole market, it wouldn't it? Yeah, that, well, fingers crossed we see something like that, that come across Absolutely. from the government. So just finally, on the, on the Pinewood front, uh, I'll give you a chance to do an elevator pitch to, uh, to, for, new, <laughs> for new business. I'm sure you're used to that, Bill. Um, Ow. What, <laughs> well, you listen, uh, the, you know, the best, the best is still to come at the end of the day. Some of the products and the systems that Pinewood is working, um, um, they've barely scratched the surface of what their capabilities are. So, um, you know, do you want to get it on an early part of the journey or, or the latter part of the journey? Um, Pinewood's a great product and it's doing nothing but getting it better. Uh, huge congratulations to you and the team. It's a, it's a real coup to win this one. So uh, I hope you, uh, hope you celebrate it properly. Absolutely. Thanks, James. Thanks. Thanks, Bill. Great to see you. So congratulations once again there to Pinewood for winning our Dealer Management System of the Year Award. If you'd like to find out who's won the other awards, log on to cardealermagazine.co.uk and click on the Power tab at the top of the page. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.